On to the finds, Jim. All right. <sighs> Hey, I found a worm to match your worm. All right, looks like I found a, a little copper washer. See, Jim, look at that. A copper washer. That's on its way to being a ring. Yeah, see, that's progress. Next stop. You did? Awesome, see, look. See if it's silver, man. 09, a bar bright. I guess it's probably, might be plated. Yeah, look at Jim found. Got him a little bent up spoon. Right. There you go. Found me a, a rusty uh, ball that piece of chain. It's kind of cool. That root growing in it. All right, guys, this is a tease, but I think I see what this is, but it, I don't think, I thought it was a ring, but I don't think it is. No, it's not. Dang, look at that. I really thought that was a ring, but it's not. Oh, pretty. Some kind of piece of copper. Oh, I found that. This grate right here also. So, I don't know. Let's keep on digging through these pockets. Alright you guys, so I've just found my, uh, it's actually my first mason jar lid with a uh, piece of ceramic still in it. That's awesome. And uh, Jim just said he called out from over there. He said he's found a horseshoe. So I'll check that out in a little bit. But that's pretty cool. Look at that. Ceramic's in really good shape. Awesome. Actually, guys, not exactly sure what this is, but it's got uh, some kind of electrical uh, piece. Might be a uh, old capacitor or a fuse or something like that. But it's got some copper windings, and it was in this uh, housing right here. So it's two pieces. All right, let's see what else we find out here. Well, it's not a coin, but I think it might be silver, maybe aluminum. But uh, it's got the number six on the front, a couple floor de um, a couple more floor de on the back, and it says M Co. I'm guessing it might be aluminum, maybe. Uh, I'll have to check it out later. It's a little light, but that's awesome. How cool is that? I'm on the right road here. It looks like definitely with probably a button. Uh, just something. All right, turn it back on and find something else cool. Jim just brought this over a second ago, and this is for sure. A barrel strap I would say for sure so now we have a barrel strap all right guys looks like uh like I dug up a little coal shovel or a uh, shovel for your fireplace or something but it's probably say coal shovel all right guys I have no idea what the heck this thing is but uh we found it so there it is all right it's kind of cool some kind of little crank off something maybe an old car or window or something I don't know some kind of decorative piece of uh, I don't know what you call it a little plaque kind of thing that goes on furniture or something maybe it looks maybe like an acorn or a shield with the nail still in it it's pretty cool all right all right you guys so uh, looks like I just pulled up my first hole intact oh and it just that's how old it is it's deteriorating but no ceramic in this one though, but there it is. So they're uh, mason jar lid. All right, found this Boyd's genuine porcelain lined uh, mason jar cap. This some kind of little brass cap. I don't know what that is. Sugar-free orange crush, and it's never been cracked. See, all the perforations are still intact. That's well. Found another shotgun shell. Have this is a little different. <clears throat> this says uh, U.S. Defiance number 12, and it's got this kind of ribbed, crimped edge around it. It's pretty cool. I like this one. All right, let's check that out. I don't know what it is exactly, but 
It's like a tiny little brass bell. All right, you guys. Now this is definitely a um, suspender class here. Um, you can see the teeth in here. You can see the teeth in here, and <clears throat> got a little design on it. You can see the inside a little better than the outside design. All right, we'll keep looking around right here. See what's fun. All right, you guys. So it's the first time I found one of these. It's a, it's a bird band. Looks like. So whoever lived out here definitely loved their suspenders. Um, some says Shirley patent something, but uh, Shirley brand, and then see the teeth for the strap. I don't really know what this is, but it's interesting looking, and it looks like it almost has a uh, three or maybe four leaf clover design in the center. Hopefully, uh, it brings me a little good luck today. Hmm. All right, guys, I don't know exactly, but it might be an old radiator cap or something. It says Haynes. I know Haynes makes radiator caps. Haynes, America's first cap. Look at that, that's pretty cool. All right, let's see what we can find. All right, you guys, check that out. So, found a tiny little gear, probably out of a clock or something. That's pretty cool. All right, you guys, so I found this little button, and uh, it's got a little rhinestone in it. All right, so I'm here among all these little daffodils, and uh, I found this little buckle. I don't know how old that is, but it is a little buckle. Just found this cool padlock. Looks pretty old. Um, still functions a little bit here. Uh, get it cleaned up later. There's something on here. I can't make it out. Looks like SW something. Still digging in the daffodils. But uh, that's cool, man. All right. I think it's pretty neat. It's not super old, but it's pretty cool. It says the Bear Company Incorporated. A little screw top. Huh, it's really neat. Alright, you guys, so we're back at Jim's house now, and we're going to show a little wrap up. They both found uh, quite a few mason jar lids with the porcelain in them. He found them a nice drinking glass. Um, as always, a few nice bottles. Uh, these here are cork tops, and uh, these two smaller ones. This one says Sloan's. Uh, what's this thing? Liniment? Liniment? Sloan's Liniment? What's a liniment? No, you don't know how. No, it says L. L I N I M E N T. Liniment. A spoon we thought was silver, but it's probably plated. Um, we have no idea what this thing is. If anyone knows what any of this may be that I don't mention, uh, let us know. It's got a harmonica reed here shotgun shells no idea what this is might be a piece of door hardware or something found a pretty small uh, horseshoe shell I mean horseshoe right here you can see it's not much bigger than a shotgun shell and uh, Jim found a little thimble today it's a good find it looks like it possibly may be silver um, some kind of a looks like a placard off of a boat maybe uh, and let's see that's about it Moving on to what I found, I found a little buckle, uh, a burr tag, this is my first burr tag I've ever found, uh, a couple of uh, suspender clasps, uh, not sure what some of this other stuff is, a little bell or something, some shotgun heads, uh, silver piece or aluminum more than likely, a little bear bottle, lots of junk, a cool padlock, and random other assortment of stuff. Most of which you've already all seen. So, all right. Well, that takes it. Uh, that wraps it up for today.